I'm back with a DIY video and this one is a slightly impromptu DIY. It's not one that I planned but it all happened because of some very dodgy ordering by me on a certain website called Romwe. So I love Romwe. I buy quite a lot of things from Romwe. I like their jewellery. I've got a couple of their bags. My little clear bag that's always on my Instagram is from there and my straw bag is from there and I do like to shop there. It takes a little bit longer to arrive but on the whole you kind of get what you pay for. I made a fatal mistake and it's one I learned a long time ago and I don't know why I made it again but I decided on my last little set of purchases when I bought my straw bag that I would also chuck a skirt in the basket. Why not? I loved the print, it was the prettiest banana print and I thought, do you know what, I'll pick the biggest size, I'm sure it'll be fine. It wasn't. This skirt turned up and I saw it in the parcel and I thought, oh, the fabric is absolutely gorgeous. And I got it out and look at it. It's like a child's size. And I was so disappointed, partly at myself, because I knew that, you know, websites like this with the Asian size and it's always very, very, very small. Uh, and you do have to be careful. And that's why previously I decided I wouldn't order any clothes anymore. But I just love this print. Look at this banana print, it's so pretty. So I was so determined not to let my shopping experience be a complete waste of time and also not to waste this beautiful fabric that I decided that I would try and do a little DIY with the skirt. So I'm gonna transform this little skirt from this to this. And here's how I did it. So I'm going to turn the bag into one of those summery fabric bags with the wooden handles. So I'm going to utilise the top elastic section of the skirt. That's going to be the top of my bag where my handles go. And then I'm actually going to seal up the bottom. I found myself some wooden handles on eBay. I could also have gone for a sort of plasticky tortoiseshell look, but I opted for these wooden handles and they fit the top of the skirt perfectly. So they're just going to sit inside this elastic and they're going to be super easy to fix on and I think they cost about four or five pounds the handles and um, but you can find even cheaper ones and I'll link some below in the description box. So yeah they're going to sit just inside the opening of the skirt so I'm not actually going to have to do much to the top of the skirt I actually just need to really seal in the bottom so that obviously I can put things in it so yeah I am going to have to employ my trusty sewing machine which is a very very old sewing machine but you could also do this DIY without sewing and use some of that iron wonder web stuff. So I turned the skirt inside out and as you can see this skirt is lined but the lining isn't as long as the skirt itself so but we'll We'll come to that later. For now we're going to seal up the bottom of the skirt so the first thing I'm going to do is pin it all into place. So I'm going to flip the inner skirt, uh, the inner lining upwards and just work on just the banana fabric. I'm going to smooth it out flat, make sure my hems are lined up and then with some pins I'm just going to pin along the bottom of the hem and that's where I'm actually going to sew. If you're going to use the iron-on wonderweb stuff then all you would do is sandwich the wonderweb between the two hems so you'd put it inside the fabric run an iron over it seal it all in and then when you flip the skirt the other way you'll find you've got a lovely sealed um, hem it is quicker but sewing does give you a better finish so if you do have a sewing machine I would advise you to do it this way. I'm not the world's best sewer with a sewing machine but this is super simple. All we're going to do is a straight run across the bottom of the skirt with the sewing machine. You can go nice and slow. We're going to start off by doing a forwards and backwards stitch just to anchor it off and we're going to do the same at the other end. But yeah, nice and slowly following the hemline and obviously avoiding the pins straight across. So we're finishing off the end with the forwards and backwards stitch as I said just to anchor it off, trim off your uh, thread and then we're actually going to lay the skirt flat again 
And we're going to create a sort of curved shape to the bag. So at the moment we've got a straight across line, it'd be quite right angled the bag. So we're actually gonna create a curve in the corner. So I'm gonna use some tailor's chalk, but you could use a pen or a pencil, whatever you like. We're gonna draw a curved shape in each corner, try and get them to be the same, be symmetrical. And then we're gonna sew that curve in. So the corners of the bag have a, more of a rounded shape. And then it's back to my trusty sewing machine to sew that curve into each corner. Now this sewing machine is actually my mom's. It's from when I was little and I think my mom is pretty impressed that it is still going. But yeah, she's handed it down to me now so that I can use it for all my DIYs. So it's still going strong, mom. Look at it. Yeah, sewing the uh, curve, finish off with the backwards and forwards anchor stitch as we did before. Then when you're finished, we're going to turn the bag the right way round now, just to have a little bit of a look at the shape that we've created and just check that you're happy. I must confess that I went back in with the machine and just made my curves a little bit different. Um, obviously, you could pin your curves the first time and turn it inside out to get them right, but I just went straight in with a sewing machine. So yeah, have a little bit of a look, check that you're happy before we move on to sewing the lining, because once you've done that, you won't be able to alter the shape of the actual back. So for the lining I've done exactly the same as I did with the bottom of the skirt. I've put a couple of pins in just to hold it in place because it is quite silky and I'm just going to run it a straight line on the machine backwards and forwards stitch to start and end and that's just going to seal it in so that you can put things in the bag and they don't fall straight through so make sure you uh, sew it nice and well. Now I'm going to move on to sewing on the handles and I'm going to do this by hand because obviously you couldn't do this on a machine, it'd be quite tricky. I'm going to use this really, really thick embroidery thread in black, but you could also use green or yellow to tie in with the colours of the bag. I'm going to be using quite a big needle so that I can use this uh, thread because it's quite chunky and we're going to be sewing the handles on with the bag inside out so that when you flip it the right way round, the handles are obviously on the inside of the bag. So yeah. Unfurl your um, thread and we're going to use it doubled over so it's even stronger. I'm going to sew the handle on in three places, starting with the centre and the first thing I'm going to do is sew a really, really strong anchor stitch. So we're going to go in and out and knot it a couple of times so it's really, really strong. Then we're going to lay the handle um, on top and we're going to weave the embroidery thread in through the gap of the handle round underneath and back through the fabric and we're just going to keep doing that and we're going to do maybe eight to ten um, loops round and that's going to make it super strong we're going to try and make it nice and neat because you are probably going to see these stitches so we're going to try and make them more of a feature I guess then when we get to the end we're going to anchor it with a nice strong anchor stitch uh, knot it a couple of times and then we're going to repeat the process two other times along the handle, one at each end now. Now the good thing is about starting at the middle is you can slide the handle along and make sure you've got it in exactly the right position. When we do the end stitches, I am actually not gonna do them right at the end, just so that the handle still has a little bit of movement. But yeah, I'm gonna repeat that process, anchor stitch, loop the thread in the gap, round and into the fabric and just keep doing that twice more and then obviously we're going to have to do the same with the other handle. Then we're going to flip the bag over and we're actually going to do exactly the same thing on the other side. Start with the centre with an anchor stitch, wrap the stitch round the handle and then yeah do another two points along the handle. And then when you are finished you can turn the bag the right way round. And, uh, and then you can get on with using it. And I'm really pleased with how this has turned out. You can actually arrange the fabric in two ways on the handle. Um, I'll show you that in a minute. But this is how the finished article looks. I think it's quite jazzy, you'll agree, and a little bit better than a skin tight, tiny skirt. So I like the fact that it has that kind of like knitting bag look to it. Uh, and yeah, really love the little handles and the fabric uh, just looks super cute. So handles wise, you can put the fabric up over the handles if you wish, like I'm showing you now, or you can tuck the fabric slightly underneath the handles to give the bag a different look because you've left the handle sort of sewed on so loose. You've got that flexibility. But yeah, there we go. Finished article. I'd love to know what you think of my little DIY. Uh, did you prefer it as a skirt? Maybe you did. But I hope you've enjoyed it. Thanks for watching and see you next time.